Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Liu Bei on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we had been fighting Yuan Shao. We've beaten him. Uh, and as a result of beating him, we actually, for some reason, got the event to uh, that popped up uh, Zhao Yun. And he joined our faction. No idea why. Um, I mean... It, it, there is a reason for it uh, historic well, like in the romance of the few games Zhao Yun and Liu Bei were good mates in fact if we look here uh, here so yeah Zhao Yun we are already friends in the past uh, but Zhao Yun is actually one of Gongshin Zan's generals at the beginning so I, I don't know why exactly Gongshin Zan let him go uh, but he did and Zhao Yun has joined us instead now so I don't know if that actually happened in the history I don't remember I think it did I, I've been again I've been listening to the podcast but I've it's been a while since I actually listened, um, because I've been busy with other things, such as playing this game. Uh, so I don't remember everything, and also I just wasn't done with it at all. I was like one-fourth on the way there or something. Um, but anyway, so yeah, but, I mean, okay, so first of all, let's head you back here. Um, can't unfortunately get into the town. If we force march in there, we lose our replenishment, so that doesn't really help right now. Um... Okay, so first of all, let me just have a quick look. Would you take peace? Just straight up. Yeah, we could get there. Minus 12.8. We don't have to give any towns for that. We can probably just do it with uh, ancillaries and a bunch of money. So we can get peace of one sh Yuan Shao, which is definitely something we want. As I, as much as I'd love to go on the offensive, I would rather just have this army down here and just uh, keep him as a friend for the moment. And we can always declare war on him later when we're better prepared. It also saves us from losing Dong, because... He would have to see besiege it. Oh my, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's got three units of Warriors of Yi, which are quite solid. Um, this is a pretty solid army to begin with. Our army is completely busted, and the garrison here isn't particularly much. It is a walled settlement, but even then, I'd rather just have peace. So I think I am going to try and sue for peace. Then there is the fact, or the, 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 the character, Zhao Yun. Let's have a look at him. So he starts off, he's already level 4, which is quite nice. He's got a special weapon too. This doesn't look like the weapon he starts with, though. I'm pretty sure since he's a legendary character, he starts off with a legendary item too, but um, maybe not. So yeah, he's only got a regular heirloom spear. He's a sentinel, which is pretty solid. Let's have a look here. Um, so he's got uh, 9 morale when defending is his buff, which is okay. If he's, of course, a uh, prime minister or faction leader, which he's not. So that's all right. 26 years old though, he's a young guy, he's definitely going to be very helpful to us. He's brave, kind, and honorable, which is solid. Um, okay, so he'd be good as an administrator for the public order, but it's not something we generally need, to be honest. And then he's got um, melee armor piercing damage and the melee attack rate, which is quite good. He's got fleet foot. Oh, right, yeah, we, I've seen this ability before, so he's got 900% 9 acceleration increase. 25% speed and 25% charge speed. So basically he can get away from enemy uh, the enemies pretty rapidly, or get towards them, of course. Um, this is pretty pointless. He's got ignore force penalties for his own retinue. That's quite good if he was a cavalry commander, which he's not. Uh, so he's probably not going to really use that too much. Chance of avoiding ambush, meh. Uh, charge in the gate, that's quite good. Although, again, this would probably be better on a shield. Uh, sorry, a... Um, a, uh, a spear contingent or a spear retinue, um, but it's still not bad altogether. Um, other than that, he's gonna just be you know a solid fighter. Um, he's not insanely good, but he's all right. He also gives a good no no never mind. I was gonna say he gives a good alternative to put in this army. Um, like I could put him instead of Zhang Fei, but that's actually not going to happen because I I don't want another a sentinel leading or in here because a sentinel still isn't what I, I need a strategist basically, uh, which there still aren't any available, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, I'll definitely use him at some point though, so don't 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 worry about that. Be a waste to uh, uh, not use a level four um, legendary commander to be honest. Right, so otherwise he's got um, this wedge thing, which is good. Uh, I prefer giving this to a champion or something else, though, for the extra resolve. We have this expertise thing, which I'll give to him instead. 
which is nice because it gives the for the entire army, so we don't have to have it on a champion or something, but or or on a cavalry commander. But I still prefer having it on a champion for the extra resolve. And he's got this four satisfaction, free replenishment thing, three uh, percent replenishment, which is quite good. Um, I would certainly like to have that in an army. Do we have anything on? Do we have anything on you guys? So yeah, we could put it on you, for example. Um. We could remove it, and then we could give it to him next turn. Xiao Yun will be leading an army at some point, though, so I'm gonna just... Uh, you know what? Nah, I kind of need it in this arm. Eh. If we get peace, I don't know. Let's just hold off on it for now. Okay, what else have we got to do? Oh, what's love got to do? Got to do of it? Okay, so I'd love to take this town here. I can't quite reach it this turn, though. Um, I won't be able to take the farmland because that's his and I'm good mates with him. Um, oh, actually, hold on, I should try this first. Yeah, he's gone down, so our friendship is going down, and that's actually making that go down. Which sucks, because it, this would have been a much better alternative to getting peace with one one Xiao, because I'm, I'm going to have to pay you one Xiao quite a bit of money for that peace. I prefer just joining the alliance, but oh well. Um... What am I looking at? What am I thinking of here? What am I doing? So yeah, we can't we can't reach that. We can't reach anything though right now. Oh, actually, can we reach that? No, not quite. Wait, hold on. It says we can. No. Oh no, that's because it's not actually got the army selected. Oh, it still says we can though. I mean, it looks like we can't, but it says like we can. There's no number two there. It says the two go or the one goes up to here. Ooh, I'd be willing to try that. Uh, this would be a great city to have. I don't have any reason not to, I suppose. So, uh, did I try Han, trade Han, with you? Han, yeah, you're already trading with Han Empire, okay. You got any other quick deals I can do? Unification, literally a no from everyone. Coalition with uh, the UBI is definitely something I can consider for the future, though. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if I can get here right now, I might as well, right? Maybe that's just annexing it. I don't know, why would I... No, attack. Looks like I might be able to get there right now. Yeah, alright, perfect. I thought for a second it was like, no, never mind, but no, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, I'll just take that. Wait, did I say you had 3,000 men there? No, 2,000. I was gonna say, there's no way. I lost a significant amount, but I don't think I could have done much better to myself, so. This uh, gives us a bit more food, I think, from the livestock farm. It does indeed. Nice. I'll always take some more food. Can we get there next turn? We can, actually. This is a walled settlement, though. I still would love to get a, um, I, I, I need to, uh, almost, I need to get a freaking um, strategist in this army, because I need to get a damn siege engine thing, so I can take these towns in a single, single go. Uh, but yeah, that was nice, taking that. Uh, more food that I can give up if I want to, get some more money from that. In fact, I could trade some food to him, although he's got loads of food, so he probably, it probably isn't much value to him. I can have a look. 12 food is 2.2, that's fucking nothing. But I can then sell it to someone else to get money to pay him, so that, that works as well, to be honest. Um, okay, so we're gonna go on and keep going this way. I guess we're gonna have to leave this town for a bit. It probably would have been better if I'd gone this way first, so that we can kind of end this side, because we're not gonna be, we're not a war of anyone around here, so we could have just taken that and then head back in, because there's lots of stuff to take around here. But that's all right. This would be a great fishing port to have as well at some point. It's part of my province too, so. Uh, okay, so speaking of, let's build some buildings, first of all. Um, I want to get this thing. I don't necessarily want to upgrade this. It gives some more food and stuff, but I'm not too worried about that until we have the rest of this province. Um, what else can we do? We can upgrade something in Dong. I really want to switch this over at some point. Again, it doesn't really do much, but at, at this point it's just a cheap thing that's going to keep me busy for five turns. Funny enough, that is actually very cheap. It almost would be worth just doing that, to be honest. Upgrading the town here, which gives me one more building slot, which is not bad. Um, we, I, what was I planning there? I was planning on switching this one over to food, yeah. This one I wasn't planning on switching over. I think I was going to make just money here. Um, do I do that? I, no, I need the money, first of all, to get piece of you. Peace out, brother. This is something you guys may not have seen yet either, by the way. If you lose if you lose units, they will come back after two turns. You don't have to like pay money for re-recruiting them. They will just come back, essentially, over time. 
One thing I should actually do is money reform before I do anything else. So options we have. Uh, we've still got that extra army, but we already have a third army we can get right now. So I'm not too worried about that right now, to be honest. Um, that building is... This is definitely somewhere where I want to go. Because we can get plus 50% food from fishing, plus 50% food from fishing again. Uh, there's one from... There you go. Plus 25% food production overall. So there's definitely a couple things I want to get in here. Um, and I can get them already. There's nothing I need to do to unlock these ones. Um, you just need to get this in, out of the way, basically. But I also wouldn't mind getting this trade influence up. Because we're currently trading with three different people. So getting an extra 25% trade influence would make us quite a bit of money. So that's not bad either. How much are we currently making from trade? Uh, there you go. Also, what's worth noting is the the family estates thing. Such a, it's really it's kind of a weird mechanic, honestly. We get um, uh, as Liu Bei, Liu Bei, we get a minus twenty five percent from income from family estates. As you can see there, you can see it on his profile as well. Um, there's literally nothing you can do to change this whatsoever. Basically, every faction makes two thousand from family estates, and Liu Bei has a minus twenty five percent. So you lose you lose five hundred bucks essentially per turn. Uh, Yuan Shao, for example, gets um, plus um, fifty percent. No, wait. Hold on. What was it called again? My, yeah, he gets plus fifty percent, so he gets three k basically instead. Um, it's just and it's just a it's just a everyone gets two k from it, and some of them have like some lords have a, uh, a a modifier for it, but there's nothing you can do about it. So it's a completely stationary thing, which I think is a bit weird, but you know that there it is. Uh, but anyway, we are getting one point five k from trade. Our trade influence right now is one hundred seventy, so increasing it by what was twenty five percent is still relatively significant, but not insane. What else do we unlock after getting this? Uh, more trade influence and satisfaction of the strategists, kind of specific. Um, 50% trade influence right there. 30% income from commerce. Okay, I think I'm going to go for, um... I'm going to go for this one first. See, actually, our income. So, currently, 2225. If we get this... It gives us an extra 75 per turn. It's not bad. We're also going to get our unity up this coming turn, which means our income is going to go up by 10%. And we're going to get a whole bunch of... Uh, prestige, which is going to get us a lot closer to the next level. Well, one fourth of the way closer. Um, and we're going to get an extra administrator position, which is quite good. But it's going to cost us money, but it should also make us money. So, Right. What else we got to do? We got to get that piece. So let's go ahead and do that now. 14.1. I think that may have been that may have gone down just now, simply because I fought a battle and lost a few men, so he thinks he's stronger than me again. So that was a bit of a mistake doing it that way around. Oof, that's a lot of money I have to pay him every turn. Let's see what kind of ancillaries I've got that I can give away. I've got two military access, access even. What if I just give both of those? That's pretty uh, good already. I don't really care about that, to be honest. So I bust the armor right there. No thanks. Can't give that one away right now. And I've got all of these equipped already. So it's got to be money along with these two ancillaries. Um... Oh, that's a minus, but that's a lot of money I'd get from that. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Even though it's minus, I think I'd still like to get that in there. I don't know if I if I were to get um, recently broken deals. You fucking asshole, that's you, not me, who did that. You should be paying me money, by the way, still, from that fucking two things that I gave you. You asshole. Um... Yeah, the point is, if I if I do the piece first and then try and get the trade, I'm not sure if it's going to be as easy or more difficult or easier to get. Because right now it's only 3.6, which isn't a big deal. Um, but I still have to pay him quite a bit of money to get that to get that trade deal as well. Ugh. Okay, I definitely lose money per turn because I get 644 out of it, so I'd lose um. I lose about 320 per turn, but after that I have a trade deal, and of course I got to give up these two ancillaries, but I don't care too much about that. Um, if I took away the 3.6, it would be on 5.5, um, how much would that be? 
about 571. So that's still paying 571 per turn. So this is actually, yeah, this is just a better deal. Okay. I don't remember how much it was on. So let's just get it as low as possible. All right. Can I get that any lower? I mean, that's going to save me quite a bit of money. All right. It's like every, every, every like one is essentially 10, which is, you know, it's not a massive deal, but it, it adds up. Um, okay, so I think, yeah, we'll get the piece and no, trade. And I gave him two of my military access, which I don't really need, so that's fine. Okay, we're friends now. Good, so we can probably just send this army down south and take, uh, like, you, you take this basically, maybe come over here, take that while you start going down further south. We're expanding pretty rapidly at this point. We're still making two grand a turn, so we didn't lose that much. I mean, yeah, we know exactly how much we lost, but it's not that much, to be honest. Um, I can build a building here. I can upgrade the town as well, or I can get this upgraded. Uh, I do want to get the income percentages, so I think that's fair. I think, I mean, four grand on this is probably the better option right now. It, well, no, actually, no. Let's do this one. Oh, nope. Don't downgrade it, upgrade it, and then we can still afford this one too. Actually, that's quite cheap. Can we? Hold on. Can we get this? In... Yeah, we can still afford that. Never mind. Just about. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna keep going down here next turn, and then the turn after that, we'll take that toolmaker, and then we might be running out of Han territory. We're actually gonna be bordering uh, Sun Jun soon. Sun Jun soon. But that's gonna be okay. Uh, and then it's. Honestly, we're going to be very close to um, Liu Biao, so at that point we're going to either have to go full-on offensive against Liu Biao or try and become friends, which we are kind of doing already, but even then. Um, you, are you a vassal of someone? No, but we are trading with you, so I can't really declare war on you. Uh, Huan Zhu. You. I don't have any kind of loyalty to you so I can take you out very easily but are you yeah you're a vassal of Liu Biao so I can't that's the problem so I think the only one I can really attack is Zhang Chao so yeah that's actually fair we can attack him that's not a problem he's just over here we don't have any allegiance to him he doesn't have any allegiance to anyone else so that's just a cheeky town we can take okay uh let's end a turn for now though so next turn our um unity is going to go up which is nice Nice. Ooh, I saw some Han Empire movement. Or there was some Han Empire movement. Dong Min signed a peace treaty with Yuan Shao. Okay, that's interesting. Yuan Shao is in a peacing, peaceful mood, apparently. Liu Biao signed a peace treaty with Yuan Shu. Okay. Peace treaty signed between Yuan Shu and Huang Zhu as well, one of the vassals. That's that. Um, okay. Built a whole bunch of buildings. Got another clay ox, always nice. And Zha Yun is ready for duty. He's definitely going to be going into action at some point in the not too distant future. Uh, and we have a new administrator position now, right? So let's probably have a look at that. So Zha Yun, actually, speaking of you, uh, you get income from industry. Construction cost reduction is massive. 5k uh, population, two public order as well. Definitely better than that. You're okay, but I mean, this is still way better. You get 10% income from industry, and also still some pretty good bonuses on the other things as well. I'm not Don't get the public order, and the pop, uh, population growth is a lot worse, but yeah, I think Xiao Yun is definitely better. It costs 100 for him, 100 for him, so it doesn't matter. You get a bigger satisfaction change as well. So you want to go somewhere where we have a lot of income in general, but specifically income from industry, which is probably Dong, to be honest. Uh, let's see. So we've got uh, 550 from Ministry here. So 5% is not that much, but still, this is a lot of income. This is the best income we have anyway, and it gives 15% income uh, overall, plus the 5% on the industry specifically. So I think that one is probably the best. That one's pure peasantry income, commerce and peasantry. This one's got a bit of industry, but not enough. And this one's got a bit of industry, but not enough. So yeah, Dong for sure. Zhao Yun, welcome to the faction, mate. <laughs> Good timing you got there. Um, okay. Then what? So he's, uh, I mean, we can still use him in, ar in an army, of course. It doesn't uh, mean you can't use him in, in, a, in a battle or in an army. So that's all good. Um, 
let's see here. I need to upgrade this place because this is the place where we've got one use an administrator. So we need to make sure we actually keep this place making money from peasantry income. So maybe upgrading that's not bad. Cost us basically all of our money. Ah, uh, that's the movement we saw. Probably gonna have to siege this out for a bit, but that's okay. We're no longer in a rush. I could also annex it, but then I lose all my other bonuses. Plus, my administrative position goes away again, so I don't really want to do that. Um, so I think we're just gonna fight this. Do I ever plunge a little bit more? Nah, I'm not gonna risk him taking or recruiting more units. It's actually in his favor, which means he might sally out, which would be nice. Garrison's large, but not insane. Should be fine. I'll continue to siege. Probably siege him out anyway. We finally are up at a point now where we don't have to worry too much about our supplies anymore. Um, this army is definitely going to go and take this town over here. So we'll start heading towards our own towns down here. Yeah, just move through, I think. Replenish a little bit on the way. Not too worried about it. What can we do here? Oh, we got a building slot available, so probably should make use of that. So this place was going to be just pure income. So we want to get the commerce income from the marketplace. So that's a good solid building get right now. Uh, I had something to build there, but I haven't got the money anymore. Peng Cheng, this is the place where he is. So yeah, let's upgrade that. Takes a single turn. Uh, we also have assignments available, two of them, but I have no generals to actually make or do assignments with. That's not what I wanted to look at. Still no sentinels available. Once I've got one, I think I will immediately recruit him into this army and then give Xiao Yun his own army. Or Xiang Fei, sorry, his own army. Um, I've spent all my money, so that's that. Any diplomacy that's interesting that I can look at right now? Just a whole bunch of maybes. Oop, military access of Yuan Xiao. Uh, how much are you willing to pay me for it? Oh, <laughs> not a whole lot. <laughs> Ah, the goddamn recently broken deals. He fucked me over with that, didn't he? he he's the one who did all that shit, the asshole. Uh, Dong Min still doesn't want peace. How strong are we compared to... Oh, Yong Sha is actually on the uh, same rank as I am. Or, like, similar strength to me, at least. As far as I can tell, in this game, there's no um, faction ranking. I have seen... Yeah, see, he's got global, strength, uh, global rank 2, but I don't know what rank I am. It doesn't tell me what I am. Um... I have a minor threat, but I think that's just how large I am. But yeah, I don't have a um, I don't have a rank myself. I can just kind of I can look at everyone else and see what rank they are. And um, uh, Dong Min is so Dong Ming is rank one. Yuan Shao is rank two, which could very well mean that I'm rank three. But Sun Jun generally gets quite large as well in the south because he's mostly unmolested down there. So maybe he's bigger than I am. I don't know. Um, anyway, I've spent my money. I can't really do much else with that. So what else can I do? What are my missions right now? Uh, yeah, join the Confederation of Liu Biao and reach Juke. To which we are... Oh, wait, that's... Okay, so yeah, that's not even the next one. But that's fair enough. Um, the only thing I can still do is this damn Chancellor thing, but it costs 250, 350 for her. It's just such an expensive upgrade. It doesn't give you enough. Well, to be fair, we get... Hold on, it's, it's income from peasantry, isn't it? 15% income from peasantry faction-wide. Which at this point isn't as bad anymore, but is it worth 250? Like, how much do we get here? Uh, 291. But it's... It's like, that's already with 153%, so if we annex the 15%, it's only 115 that we get that 15% off, isn't it? It's not like 15% off 291, so it's not as much as you'd think, I I think. Uh, this is actually an easier way to find out. So 47, 115 there, 190 there, 25, 25, 25, 94. It's like, I don't know, what was it's like uh, 300 or something maybe, 250. So 250, 15% of that is nowhere near 250, obviously. So yeah, it's just not it's not worth it right now. That's end turn. Uh, he wants one food from us for a non-aggression pact. Man, you don't fucking deserve a non-aggression pact from me. I don't trust your ass. Are they gonna sell it? Yes, they are. All right, it's a pyrrhic victory apparently. Okay, so we got Wang Yun. 
two Juan Sword Guard Cav, which are better than mine, that's fair. Saber Militia and two Archer Militia. Then three units of actual archers and one unit of Archer Militia. So three Archer Militia, three regular archers, but again, Archer Battle generally not a problem for us. Uh, two units of Spear Guards, which are quite good, Saber Militia, and then the Jan Infantry Captain and the G Infantry Captain. And another unit of Saber Cav. Oh, and another unit of Mounted Lancer Militia. Oh, and uh, another general. Oh, and another, okay. Um, yeah, still not fully healed. Unfortunately, Guan Yu is especially wounded. But there's only one lord in there, one general in their army, so that should be okay. This is one of those battles where I need to try and kill off as much as possible, because they're sallying out. If I can get an autumn's off afterwards, that'd be grand. But... I've seen, f even if they have like a hundred men remaining, it'll still be like pure victory or something. I might want to try and rush him, in fact. The army that's attacking me is only a couple units strong. I don't think it's a good idea to... Well, I could try and put me in range. Like over here. The thing is, if he then decides to rush me. How many archers in the initial army? Only two or something, right? And killing them off right away is not a bad idea. I can get the rest of the army over pretty quickly. So I think I actually will just do that. Just for funsies. Mainly I gotta get you run up. And then immediately use the buff when I get there, essentially. Uh, and then two cav on each flank. Oh, he's back all the way over there. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I had a plan, I just <laughs> didn't know it was going to feel so miserably. <laughs> Alright, well, we still got a, a bit of a, a bit of water right there, which will slow down units quite drastically, so I can still defend the, the river, if you will. Uh, so I will. Uh, yeah, he's attacking me, so he's just waiting for his reinforcements, but then he will come towards me. The reinforcements are right behind him, which is probably why he's set up over there. Um, yeah, just set everything up. No problemo. Let's take five of you. Put the one over on this side, just in case. You guys can cross the river, get into that forest there. You guys can... Just go over here. Surprisingly... Oh, no, never mind. The shallow water doesn't... Wait, does it? 10% for light calf, 25% for medium calf, and 25% for infantry too. Yeah, that's interesting. I like that. I need some. I need a heavy infantry at some point. I bet they'll get even more reduced by it. Okay, so you need to be in the center of all these units and then buff them up. So you got all the ones at the front, so that's fine. You don't have to be at the front anymore. You? Would anyone duel you? He doesn't want to duel. Oh, he's hidden now, so I can't see anymore. Sometimes there is a case where it's like he he will duel someone else. He just won't duel your fucking champion, which makes some sense to be honest. I wish there was um potions of healing like in Warhammer, so I can get Guan Yu <laughs> healed up again. He's still fucking dead. He's been dead for a while now, but not really, not in our hearts. He will always live on. He said, um. What's his name? Father of Simba and the Lion King. Alright, here we go. The battle is about to come out. Oh shit, hold on. So one of you guys isn't hidden. <laughs> Probably should have looked at that. Hide yourselves. I don't even know if that's hidden either, to be honest. It's gonna wait until this stuff. Yeah, there we go. We're hidden. If I do, you know. Uh, 2v1, I guess, it's a John Sword Cavalry. I don't think I, I like those odds, to be honest. Like, I'm sure we'd, we'd win in the end, but it wouldn't be a pretty battle, right? And that's not... We don't want non-pretty battles. Only pretty battles for me. If I start running you guys and they'll see me, I wonder if they'll come towards you or not. What is that buff that guy's got going? Is that the speed buff? I think it is. He loves himself some speed... Alright, let me get triple speed this again now. Oh, fuck me, that's a lot of cav on that side. Okay, let's bring you guys both over here. Protect the flank. That's an awful lot of cav on that side. I saw the cav and I didn't like it. 
My formation is always a goddamn tiny, but it's just because I have to use this ability on everyone. Normally I'd spread them out like this and the, and the, the melee alliance as well, but... It seems to work alright though, because we always want to be playing it defensively anyway, and then charge in the back with all the cavalry. So it kind of works. I'm actually a little bit scared here. The amount of cavalry they've got there is really scary. It's wee wee scary. -wee. If they charge it in, I'm okay. Like, if they charge it into these guys, I'd be fine with it, but if they don't... Are you fucking... Where are you going? My units are hidden, you can't see them. Are you serious? They're gonna fucking see my cab over here. And they will wreck my cavalry. This is not good. Is that unit charging after us? I think it is. Let's try and hide there. It's gonna take ages to get up there though. Oh, uh... You'd be fired at a little bit. Not full on yet, so... I don't think it's worth using just yet. The thing is, the, the sooner you use it, the fast, like the more ammo you'll have as well. So it's kind of like a trade-off. Because obviously, the, or not ammo, but the more men you'll have firing, obviously. All right, that's your guys' cue to get up here. I need you guys to get up here quickly before the cavalry get to us. This didn't really work that one out too well. That's okay. Come over to them, please. Yeah, if they go over here, that'd be fantastic. Oh shit. Uh, you guys might want to come. Oh shit, wait, there's an extra. Okay, let's just kill that one, please. I don't. That's like a good cav against mine, so I don't really like that 2v1 there. You guys might want to come over here now. I didn't expect them to have as much cavalry there as they did. Uh, that completely wrecked that one. This should hopefully wreck more of them. Kind of charging it halfway, but yeah, look at that. It's getting evaporated. So let's get the champion in there. You are murdering a unit, good for you. Let's get you in here as well. Actually, you know what, yeah, you kill him. How's that fight going? Oh, we wrecked him too. We did lose a whole bunch of cav ourselves, but it's fair. Okay, let's get you in there. Uh, nah. I'm not worried about it. I've got, um, I've got my champion on the case already. Again, don't know if that's gonna hit anyone, but. That unit should be fucking disappeared off the face of the earth. You have indeed wrecked two cavalry, the other one's doing alright. You guys have wrecked him, let's get you guys back. Uh, that's not my unit, that's not what I was thinking there. I need you guys, there you go, you dealt with that. You guys kill them. Ooh, I've lost a unit here. Ooh, that actually got completely destroyed. What happened there? I need to get in here though. It's gonna be a solid fucking charge. Get wrecked, sons. Disappear off the face of the earth. I don't think it was wrecky enough yet, though. Okay, I need you guys back here fast because again, I need to kill as much as humanly as much as humanly possible. That uh, didn't kill as much of them as out of light. You guys have come back. I'm not gonna pull you in. Though. I don't want to lose a unit if I don't have to. You've taken a bit of damage here. I don't like it. I took some damage and I didn't like it. Don't know if that's gonna hit, but we'll try, I guess. Let's actually move over a little bit. Ah, that's pretty missed. Just hit my own troops. Uh, cavalry. Hello. Where art thou? Let's have you guys come back. Enemy General Falls, that should be an end today. They were already quite close to riding, so that should be the end. Okay. Kill off any fucking troops you see, god damn it. Kill them all. Uh, right, I was gonna say, I'm missing some cav units here somewhere. That's, those units are. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to catch them anyway, so that's not even butter. That's one guy, let's not try to catch him. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this off with an Autosolf after this battle, but even if it's not too good, I'll probably still do it, just because I can't be fucked to fight another goddamn battle on this goddamn siege. I'm so surprised I still haven't found another strategist. <laughs> General chat, looking for strategists. <laughs> One more. 
Oh god. Looking to raid South South's lands. Need one strategist. PM, please. Alright, well, we fucked him. Uh, it, I was surprised that one of our units is just a lot lower than all the other ones. I don't know exactly what, what happened there. Maybe one of their best units was there fighting. I'm not sure. Uh, they're dead. Why am I not triple speeding this? You have murdered them successfully. Go ahead and kill them off as well if you'd like. Even if you don't like, I don't honestly care. They're already dead, but you've got nothing better to do. I wonder if I could have actually reached these camps. They went pretty damn slow. Kill those archers for me, Blocks. Uh, you were off killing some dudes here. You've done that successfully. Uh, right, yeah. Just wait for him to kill that off, I think, and then we should be good. As good as we're going to get, unless you can actually reach those archers, which... Yeah, you definitely can. Once they start charging, they go fucking hella fast. They go fucking hella fast, even when they're tired, apparently. Alright. Close victory. You need to fucking shut up, son. That shit... It ain't right. Holy fuck, yeah, this one unit got 126 kills. That's a saber infantry. That's not like a saber militia. That's not bad for them. They're dead now, though. Uh, I will... I like 535. It's not bad, but I think I'll take the 6% replenishment for once. Keep this train rolling. As they say. Don't know if they say it. I said it. Uh, you got to level up. Level 6 now. You've uh, out-leveled Guan Yu, which is interesting because he leveled... He was two levels ahead and he gets more experience for every battle because he's the commanding leader. Um, we've got that... Uh, ooh, we got that buff as well, the speed and morale, which kind of means you, again, you want to put him with the cavalry. But... Um, well, not necessarily, actually. I mean, it's it speeds up all units around him, so it doesn't have to be cavalry. You could just be in, right in the middle of an army, and my army will just move 25% faster. And he wants to be in the middle of an army because of um, his special ability. So, honestly... Uh, ooh, plus one starting rank for all recruits, only if this character is Prime Minister Era Faction Leader, but he is. So that's not bad, actually. This is pretty good for his army, but the army is already, you know, quite sick. So I think I'm quite interested in that. Then again, how often do I really recruit units? And that, does that one experience really matter that much? To be fair at this point, I've got this guy's 9 experience, 7 experience, 6, 5. This army is already pretty damn experienced. Haven't really looked at it until just now. But yeah, these units are... Especially this archer militia is fucking beast. Somehow increases their armor piercing damage. Do they, do they fire the bow a little bit harder? How does that work? How does armor piercing damage... How do their arrows improve <laughs> when they get more experience? I never get that. It should be like... Oh, wait, never mind. That's no, firing rate. Sorry. I was going to say, it should be firing rate. That's the only thing that makes sense, but it is firing rate. Or ranged attack rate. I was confusing it with that one. Um, no, yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, okay, it's still not a whole lot, though. It fires, like, a tiny bit faster. Anyway, um, is plus one starting rings really worth it. I mean, it's nice because he's the faction leader and I want to choose it because of that, but no, I'm, I'm going to go for that one, actually. Also, max rank is 10, so you you got to, at some point, keep an eye on, like, where do I want to go? What do I really want to get? Um, this seems pretty good, so I probably want to get that. So I need to, if I want to get that, I need to get at least, because I've only got four, four skills remaining, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So I'd need to get that one, that one, that one, basically. Or that one, that one, that one, that one. But then I'd have to give up on some other ones. This is quite good. Um, that's alright. Is this even good? Yeah, this is actually quite good. Uh, this is pretty meh, so I don't really care about that. This one is really good, though. Although it's only for... The, the Night Battles is insane. The Fire Arrow is good for own retinue, but he, um, he doesn't have any archers, so that doesn't matter. Okay, he has two right now, but they're going to get replaced at some point. Um... So yeah, this would be good. This would be good for a, a strategist, but a strategist would like to get that. The thing is, though, if he's going to ever be leading an army, he's going to have to need. He's going to need to have to get this. Need to have to get this. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, he would have to get this. The five percent replenishment is just key for a leading general. So that'd be one. So I I couldn't get this one because it'd be one, two, three, four. So I already doing this. I already can't actually get all the things that I want to get. So I should look. I should pay more attention to it sooner because I want to get that one too. And this buff is really solid: melee evasion and melee attack rate. 
um, for for a whole fucking minute, by the way. That's, yeah, that's pretty damn good. Like, this is really good as well, but I guess we can get that in a different army. But anyway, can I take this town now? That's the real question. Without too many losses. Medium. Pyrrhic victory. Ugh. It's one of those things where I might just fight it again instead, to be honest. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. Uh, let's continue for the moment. I'm gonna have a cheeky peek at what else I got. We got an eavesdropper and master's letter. Uh, okay. I think Zhang Fei. Not Zhang Fei. Uh, Zhao Yun. I think Zhao Yun has already got uh, a nice piece of armor. Yeah, we definitely don't want this fucking trash. Um, you, however. You already have a better. Oh, you have masters. Oh, you have you work exactly that. Never mind. Uh, and then Yu Jingping, I could give it to you. Except I, are I'm not planning on give, becoming. You're becoming a general, but I guess I'll still give it to you anyway. I'll, I can make you a general at some point, but more likely I'll, I'll use Xiao Yun to be honest. You have leveled up though, so you can get. Let's see. Melee evasion for melee infantry. Own retinue and bonus experience for units per season, faction wide, but only if she's. Ranking officer. This is incredibly good. But again, it's more something that a cunning character will get at some point. Uh, for you, it's all the way over here, though. That'll take fucking ages. But yeah, it's still something that I would get. Um, I think we're going to go for that melee evasion for melee infantry. That's pretty solid. 5% is not It's not a huge amount, but it's still it's still nice. Alright, build up zillion buildings again. Good stuff. Uh, you've ranked up, and we got that eavesdropper. Plus 240. Uh, I should once again check you. Did you? No, oh, you didn't have one yet, so I might as well, I guess. Okay. And then, yeah, we keep moving towards this town, which is probably going to be completely uh, unprotected, by the way. We got two more turns of replenishment, which isn't a whole lot. I would like it if I could have gotten in there, but I couldn't. I guess I could make a quick stop on the way in Donghai. Makes some sense, I suppose. Um, right, so this is a province where, yeah, I need to get this upgraded now. Let's let's get that done. And then uh, that's most of my money gone. Can I afford anything? I can afford something in Donghai. I can get this upgraded. Yeah, go on then. Why not? Okay, so we've got that battle to do, which actually is going to give me some money as well, so I might still... I might actually buy something else, so let's hold off on that one. And let's do this battle first. So... Yeah. Actually, walls are 95% strength. Oh, shit! I didn't check that. They've got a trebuchet. It's only a single one, but still, it's a trebuchet. Now, I... I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure my missile block chance is only against, like, small projectiles like arrows and bolts. I don't think it protects me from massive fucking rocks being slung my way. Uh, well, okay, so 95% so there might be a hole in the wall somewhere. Okay, this is, the, take, the towers are taken out here. And here. But there's no actual hole in a uh, wall. But that's okay, if the towers are taken out, I'll take a lot less damage, so that's fair. So yeah, we'll attack from here, for sure. There's no two ways about that. The, uh... Oh, that... Oh, this one's completely taken out as well. Okay, so there's nothing... There's actually nothing protecting them here. And they had no archers, did they? I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. Well, if they've got anything up on that wall, it's gonna get shot to pieces right away. Uh, they have the trebuchet, which they could put up somewhere around here, but we'll just try and rush them down. Uh, probably wanting to break through that, but let's put it there anyway. I, I really should give it to one of these guys. Put it over there. Oh, that's... Oh, he did... Yeah, okay, he loses critical deployment when you do that. Fair enough. I was gonna say, otherwise you just put it there and then you give it... You, you drop it again, basically. Uh, Alright. And then the cavalry. Cavalry is likely never... Well, actually, no. I'll, I'll send him through the gates as well. I'll put him over here. Maybe distract the enemy and make him think I'm coming from elsewhere. So they put their, uh, like, artillery piece over there or something, that'd be nice. Oh, they did put it there. 
I don't know if that I can fire this way or not. But either way... Oh! I'm not sure what just happened. I thought I saw it being shot, but I'm not sure. I don't feel... I feel like they can't send it and shoot it that way. They're definitely shooting it this way for now. Ow. Just get the fuck out of here as fast as possible. Actually, just do that one. Uh, you guys are firing, apparently, at this unit. So that's totally fine. You can do that. I won't say no to that. And that one there, too. Uh, the rest of the army just start moving up. Probably should just break free the gate. Eh, I can probably take the gate pretty easily. Uh, you guys can move up with it as well. You guys still being shot, probably. Yeah, I lost a few more men. I should just get over here as soon as possible now, so it can't shoot at me anymore. I think that may have just hit that tree in front of us. I don't see a boulder or anything, but I feel like it stopped just in front of our unit. It might get one more shot off over killing the men on there as well. Did indeed get one more shot off, but now that unit's completely destroyed, so that was easy enough. Alright, time to start climbing the walls, boys. Actually, you know what? No, hold on. Archers climb the walls. Just find the space, I guess. Now, over the walls. Because then we're going to start shooting at them again. Kill them all off. A, a couple units there. I might even be able to... Well, I won't be able to kill him with range, but I could possibly just put my archers here to start peppering down on them. I don't know what this is. I mean... <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, technically you probably could fit through there, to be honest. You, it's good thinking this. I like it. I like the initiative, guys, but... Um, unfortunately, the game doesn't let me do that, so, you know. You tried, but... Ain't gonna happen today, friends. Who the fuck destroyed- wait, it, yeah, how's it destroyed with arrows? That doesn't make any sense. Does it- do they just automatically combust when you, uh, when they haven't got any men on there anymore? How the fuck does that work? Alright, let's triple speed this for a bit, because there's literally no infantry that can threaten me. It's all cav. So I'm just gonna wait until we get in position, and then we start shooting again. Someone's gotta get a climb and get this tower- or the, the gate at some point, but whatever. No, not you, fuck! Sorry, keep climbing. I thought I sucked at that one. Uh, okay, we're firing at some people. Good. Can we make them full on route, please? That'd be grand. Don't, don't let them come back. No, they're gonna come back. Alright, fair enough. Slowly withering away in front of us here. They're dying very slowly, actually, surprisingly. Somehow just... Oh yeah, this... I don't know. I always find that kind of interesting, where it's like... The, the icon is up here. But... But you actually have to capture it down there. Are we not able to hit that unit? Surely. Get on the fucking wall and start... Goddamn firing! Are we gonna get shot by that thing? Doesn't look like it. Just get on the walls, man. I don't know. I guess maybe it's a bit too crowded or something. I don't know. They're moving. That unit's still, still got 11 men left. Well, if they're going to run into these guys' range, at least they'll be get fired on by them. Uh, that unit's... Okay, that unit's still routing, but it looks like they're actually both running away now. We're shooting them in the back, though, so perhaps we'll get a few more kills and make it route. Oh, they're just replacing that unit. Okay, and they're coming back now. No, they're not. They've changed their minds. Four men remaining. Well, we're fucking still firing at that unit! Got a couple snipers in here. Alright, well, let's just get down. If they want to come charging back towards me again, fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh, looks like they might actually be doing that. Where'd the other unit go? Did they go all the way around? That's not them, because that was a unit that was already there. We have taken control of that tower. Okay, well, let's get the men inside then. The boys. Capturing towns with the boys. Just get over here. Get over here. You're gonna murder them for me. Q. 
kill them all. Make sure they don't get to my archers actually as well. Probably a good thing. Get fucked. Come here. Wait. Zhang oh, fuck me, the one I told them to attack is the one guy who wasn't there yet. Okay, but they're gone now, so never mind. Alright, Archer, stop it. Stop it. Stop wasting your fucking ammunition, goddammit. Okay, go here. No, Zhang Fei, go murder that unit then. Don't get yourself killed by towers on the way, please. Yeah, actually, just don't do that. Just make sure they don't get to my, uh... Oh, there's a fucking barricade in the way. That's why they ran all the way around. Well, if we play our cards right, we'll be able to get our men in there in time. And we'll be able to fire at it while it goes there, but never mind, it's, it's stopped moving already. God, can we bring back six times speed from the previous game, please? Not the previous game, the, the old games. Ye olden games. Man, I'm getting tired trying to fucking push through this goddamn wall here. There's a gate here. You know there's a massive opening here, right? You don't have to funnel through this tiny gap here. Some of them are even climbing. They're like, fuck me, I can't be ordered but just to wait in line. <laughs> I'll use this rope instead. <laughs> Is that okay, boss? <laughs> Someone left a handy rope hanging off this wall. I think I'll use it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good shit. <laughs> uh, Cav, you might actually be coming in handy as well. Literally just put everyone inside then. Alright, we're firing at that unit. It's not going to last very long. Goodbye, Jan Sword Guard Cav. Fuck me, that unit took a lot of damage. Okay, everyone fire at this one guy. There is actually still that unit as well, which actually apparently came quite close to us. Alright, running out of ammo. We're not doing any damage here, by the way, but there's nothing else I can really do here either, to be honest. Oh, yeah, we're firing at that unit. That's what I want to see. I want to have that unit die as well, so it's literally just this guy remaining. Alright. Um, I can't really be bothered. Just start running over here, and then I'll have you guys as well. Um... I'll, have, I'll just use the calf to kind of... Actually, no, I don't even have to do that. I can use the uh, base ability. I was going to say, I need to just have someone tank this the towers here. So I can get inside. So let's put you guys out there. We'll tank it up and then we'll just charge everything into this man. You will, you will, will you take a jewel? I mean, it's just... Oh, actually, he will. Funny enough. I mean, we're kind of dead, so I probably shouldn't. But he will actually take a jewel. That's funny. It's a funny. Okay. Fucking attack. Just protect yourself. Oh, comrade is under attack. Get fucked, son. Yeah. You're gonna die today. Oh, that was fucking quick. <laughs> Holy shit, he got wrecked. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess when you get a guy by himself, it's not that difficult anymore. Alright, well, I'm glad I decided to fight that, because that was certainly not a period victory. I don't even know how much we lost, but it wasn't much. It, he killed two of my men. So it was... unless there was some kills in here. No, we lost two men. Alright, fair enough. Um, we got lucky on the whole wall, like, the row of walls, or, sorry, the... The wall... Had one row completely destroyed towers. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Occupado, please. Okay. Traits gained. Distinguished, Guan Yu. Oh no, increases ambition to gain independence as administrator. We don't want that. Admires attractiveness or refinement. You fuck. You still like each other? Oh shit, he actually doesn't like Zhang Fei anymore. What the fuck happened there, friends? Yo. You're goddamn. Mates, are you not? There's actually, I mean, there's a lot of he. F they fucking love each other, but he doesn't actually like have the um, same like the traits that that come across anymore. Sounds like you need to get fucking replaced with Zhang Fei. Sorry, Zhao Yun, your Zhang Fei. <laughs> I don't want that. Though. Again, I need a strategist in here. I, like this army is gonna be Li Bei or Zhang Fei, and then Guan Yu or Zhao Yun. 
So what I'll probably end up doing is these two together and then these two together. I think that's that's probably like a more... Not necessarily like following the story kind of deal, but they are friends and they are friends. But they are also friends as free, but these guys aren't as good friends of Xiaoyun as, as uh, Liu Bei is, I think. I think they're still good friends, but anyway. Anyway, Yang Zhao is mine. We got farmland, toolmaker, and livestock farms. So this is going to be a massive food production province as well. So you could fuck right off. Uh, you can. This actually uh, gives me agriculture, building, construction cost reduction, which isn't bad, but it doesn't really give me anything else for peasant stuff. So you could fuck off. You can most certainly fuck off, my friend. And you can repair yourself, goddammit. Um, okay, we got a bunch of money. So yeah, I was going to build this building, but now I have more money. I can perhaps build something else. Let's see. Build something in Dong. Don't really want those, though. Eh, I'll still build something here. But will it be that one or not? It will be this one instead. More food for me, Pox. Okay. Um... You haven't moved yet, have you? You have. You have moved indeed. I could just see it here, but I don't want to check that, so. Next turn we take the toolmaker here. And then I guess there yeah, there's a river, the Yangshi River. And then we move on towards this town. Once we take this though, we'll probably be bordering Well, through the river at least, we'll be bordering Sun uh, Sun Jan. So we'll probably get trade with him. Well, we have got max trade right now, but we'll probably well we'll meet him at least and possibly try and make him my friend. I'm not sure if I want to go down to the south of the river right now. We're getting a little bit spread out. Like if we look at our land, how far down he is, and he's going to take that and then that. We're getting more more and more spread out. I want to take these lands somewhere, but I can't because that's um, a vassal of actually is Kong Zhao a vassal? Who the fuck are you, friend? No, he's not. Okay, we can take this guy's land. We just can't take Wang Zhu's land because he's a vassal of Liu Biao. I can take Kong Zhu though, but we're trading with him, so we, yeah, that's the reason we can't take his land. But we can stop trading with him at some point. Anyway, for now, let's end this turn. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but it should be okay. Sun Jun is still alive, by the way. <laughs> Next turn, a message pops up. Sun Jun is dead. Fuck me, there's a lot of shit that happened. Zhang Yan declared war on Yuan Sha, that's good. Kong Rong joined war against Zhang Yan, fair enough. A friendship forming. Sorry, I saw Jian. I was like, what the fuck? I just mentioned him, but no. Uh, when battle is done, it's heartening to know that the, there are friends awaiting us to laugh and tease us, tease and make the battle a distant memory. Such a bond is formed between two of the, your soldiers and heartening to see this companionship enduring and growing over time. Kuai Liang and Jian Yong, who are two generals in my second army, I think. That's these two guys. So this is Jian Yong and this is um, Kuai Liang. Ah, these names. Uh, supervised construction is finished. We are rivals. Oh no, Jan Yong is f rivals of Yuan Shao, which is fire. As long as Liu Bai isn't Liu, uh, Liu Bei isn't a rival, it's okay. Got a mathematician. Plus one, re plus four reserves faction wide is pretty solid. Except we already have a very solid one for him, which is that plus ten percent trade influence, which is making us money. Still worth considering now. Finished a bunch of buildings, destroyed a bunch of buildings, and people of merit have arrived in court, so there's still no fucking goddamn strategist, though. Anyway, we're making 2.6 grand a turn, we're paying 300 and something every turn to uh, this asshole as well, or no, 900 and something per turn, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it is 900 per turn. Obviously, we're getting the trade from him as well, but yeah, after 10 turns, the 900 is gonna go away. So we're actually making a lot of money right now. Once that goes away, I think we'll be building a third army. But for the moment, we're fine with two. However, that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, where we keep murdering everyone as Liu Bei instead of becoming friends. Have a good day and goodbye.